Hey everybody, Fred here, plcgurus.net. So in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how easy it is to get data out of your PLC controllers and get that data into an Excel spreadsheet using nothing more than RS Links' built-in OPC server. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's get going. Okay, so before we get going with the actual video, I do want to do a quick plug for our website and forums over at https colon backslash backslash plcgurus.net. Please come on over there and check us out. We're a growing community of professional engineers, technicians, and technologists who all share a passion for industrial automation and control systems. So if you haven't been to the site, you haven't become a member, membership is completely free. I do highly recommend that you go over there and check us out and become a member, become an active contributor to the site. Okay, so like I said in the intro, we're gonna go ahead and configure or set up RS links to automatically in real time pull data out of our PLC and put that data into an Excel spreadsheet in real time. So let's go ahead and get the emulator. So for this tutorial, I am gonna use the Studio 5000 Logics emulator. I mean, of course, you can always use real hardware. I just don't happen to have my uh, my hardware set up here in the lab. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that emulator. And we'll get this emulator configured. So to demonstrate the real-time data logging capabilities, I thought to myself, okay, well, how do I do something interesting? I mean, of course, we could just grab data points and dump them into an Excel spreadsheet. But that's not overly interesting. Uh, I thought I wanted to do something a little bit cooler to show you some of the power that you can actually do with uh, RS Links' OPC server, Excel, and uh, some of the, the trending functions built in. So I thought, you know what, for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and build a function generator, or a sine wave generator. And what we're going to do is we're going to be plot a sine wave using the chart properties or chart functions in Excel. And you can see that chart updating in real time. So I hope that I hope this is going to be somewhat interesting to you. Uh, I, like I say, I didn't want to just take data points and, and dump them into a spreadsheet. I wanted to give us something a little more visual to look at. So that's what we're going to do. And you can see I have the program written here. So I'm going to go ahead and include a download link in the comment section below where you'll be able to download this complete program if you're interested, as well as the Excel spreadsheet that I'm going to show you in a little bit. If you wanted to download it, play around with it, or really dive in, do a deep dive under the hood on what I've done here to set this program up. So again, that'll be down in the download link below. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is configure the emulator here. You can see that I've already added simulated I.O. modules to the, uh, the I.O. backplane here, the virtual backplane here. Um, so let's go ahead and launch up RS Links. And to add the emulate driver, we'll go configure drivers and then find the virtual um, backplane driver right here. This is the one we're after. I'm going to click add new, use the default name, that's fine. And you can see here I have the emulated processor residing in slot zero, but by default, uh, RS links takes slot zero. So I usually like to move this so it's out of the way and more indicative of a, an actual processor that's going to be in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in, I don't know, let's put it in slot. Let's put it in slot 8. Okay, and you can see it's moved over there. Now I have room for my processor. So I'm going to click close there. And if we expand that, you'll see here that there's the factory talk uh, links communication module there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add the processor. And we're going to put that in slot zero. So we're going to use the Emulate 5570 controller. And I'm going to, I'm using version 21. So you'll want to have at least, if you're going to go ahead and download this package, uh, you want to make sure you have at least 20, version 21 or later of Studio 5000. Uh, I'll click Next, just accept the defaults here. And there's our emulated processor there. So now we got to go ahead and add these two I.O. modules, namely the slot two inputs and slot two outputs. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create a new module and we're going to put that in slot two and that's fine. And let's just say this is inputs. 
finish. And I'm going to do the same thing for slot number three. This is going to function. Oops. Cancel. Let's do that again. Create. I'm going too quick for myself here. I input output simulator. OK. Next. And this will be our virtual outputs. OK. So there we have it. So we have our emulator in slot zero, which matches our IO config and then inputs and outputs in slot two and three. Okay, perfect. And if we browse that driver, you can see everything shows up. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to minimize links and let's go ahead and download our project into the controller. So to do that, you want to make sure you have your path specified. Uh, so you can see I've already have it defined here, but if you don't, just click on the little who active uh, icon beside here and make sure you highlight the emulator and just click download. So you want to download? Yes. And that'll take a second and we should be good to go here. Okay, so we'll kick that into run mode. And okay, so so far so good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that everyone that's watching this video knows what a sine wave is. And basically, I've written a program here that generates a sine wave, and I've given it the flexibility where I can adjust the frequency or the phase shift by just manipulating these parameters. So, I mean, electrical 101, the a sine wave is the as a result of the function um, omega t minus the phase shift here. So you can see the, the math I'm using, sine of omega t minus the phase shift, and I'm just pushing all that through a, a compute function that's going to go ahead and generate the data point for the sine wave. And I'm going to use that data point to reference the time index as well. So it's going to be with respect to time. So what we're effectively going to create in Excel, let me open the Excel spreadsheet now, is an oscilloscope, if you will. Okay, so this is going to go ahead and plot in real time our sine wave, if everything goes well, that is. So again, I mean, if you want to know exactly, the, I mean, the point of this video is not to show you how to program the, the, the function generator I created here. If you want that, check out the download link below, and you can go over to plcgurus.net and download it. Uh, however, what we do want to show is how we can easily port the data points that I'm interested in here, namely my data underscore DDE, the time index, that'll be for the x-axis, and the actual data points of the sine wave for the y-axis, okay? So you can see here I have x and y. Uh, this corresponds to time and the data point, okay? And I do have a little UDT that I've created here uh, to help with some of these, uh, these data points. Just a nice little way to encapsulate things. Anyhow, okay, so I'm just gonna minimize this again because we're not quite here yet. And what I do wanna do, if I right click on these, I'm gonna go properties, I'm gonna go IO data, and we can see here that you can actually have a set of toggles for the I.O. cards. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other slot, just so we can see things and toggle things uh, in real time here. Okay, so let me go to the main routine. And it's just a basic start-stop uh, type uh, circuit that we can start the process or stop the process. So let's go ahead and it's a normally closed stop button here. So I'm going to go ahead and just make that closed. You can see that's not closed. And if we toggle the input zero right there, that'll start the wave generator. Let's go back to our wave generator. And you can see now it's actually computing data points for our sine wave. Okay, right now I have the frequency of 0.2 and a phase shift of negative 0.2. And, you know, once we get going, I'll probably play with these to show you that it actually, you know, it can increase the frequency and phase shift and all that fun stuff. Okay, so let's head on over now to RS links where we can uh, start setting up the actual data logging feature. Okay, so now with RS Links open, what you want to do is you want to head up to the menu bar here, to the DDE slash OPC uh, menu tab here. And I should mention, I'm not even sure if I mentioned this at the start, you must have the paid or professional version of RS Links to get the OPC server functionality. The free version of RS Links does not have the OPC functionality built into it. So assuming you have the, the paid for version, we can keep going here. Okay, so we're interested in the topic configuration because we want to create a new topic. And you can see it automatically 
discovered my project that's running in the controller, the RSLinks underscore OPC underscore demo. And what we want to do now is create the shortcut path to this configuration. So to do that, you can see mine was already selected, but what you want to do is highlight the, the topic and then highlight the controller that you want to pull data from and then click apply. So you can see I've already done that, so it's already existing. And then you'll just hit done. Okay, so now what you want to do is we want to generate the DDE link that we can paste into our Excel spreadsheet. So to do that, I'm going to have you go over to copy DDE link to clipboard. And we're going to go ahead and drill down into our project here to the, D, the data DDE in this case. We're after the time one first. We'll do time first. And we'll grab the first element in this array. And let's make the block size 120. And I'll click OK. And now let's open up our spreadsheet. And what you want to do here, I want to select the, the x-axis box. And I'm going to go paste, paste special. And I'm going to go ahead and paste the link. And I'm going to click OK. And that should generate the x-axis data points for us. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to repeat that same process now for the y-axis. So I'm going to go back up to the clipboard. I'm going to drill down. DDE. And this time I want the data real, which is all of the data points of our sine wave that's being generated for us as we speak. And I'm going to select the first element in that array. Again, we'll make the block size 120. Click OK, head on over to our spreadsheet, select the y-axis cell, and go paste special, paste link, OK. And so with any luck, we should see something, and there you go. So right now, you can see we're dynamically, in real time, logging data points from our controller. And basically, what we just created is a trend or an oscilloscope that's that's monitoring the uh, the sine wave in real time. This is so cool, and look how easy that was. You know, aside from the programming portion of it, I mean, and setting up the spreadsheet. And again, I'm not going to show you how to set up the chart properties. Like I say, if you want all this stuff, I'll give it to you down in the download section. Head on over to plcgurus.net and download it, and you can play with this stuff until your heart's content. And again, like I said, we can change the frequency. Let's just do that. So let's, I don't know, make it 0.4. And you can see there, it did actually increase the frequency. And if we enter a phase shift, I don't know, let's go minus 0.4. We should see this sine wave shift. So yeah, you can play with this. Like I say, I'll make it available for you. Let's go 0.5, uh, minus 0.5, we'll phase shift. And yeah, I mean, you can play with this to your heart's content. So very cool, very easy to get your data points from your controllers in the, on the floor and do something really cool with it in Excel in real time. I mean, this is a dynamic, real-time updated spreadsheet now. So I think this is a pretty cool example. Anyhow, I hope you found this video informative. Please do head on over to https colon backslash backslash plcgurus.net. Become an active member in what is quickly becoming the, the, the largest and fastest growing community of professional engineers, technicians, and technologists who all share that passion for industrial automation and control systems. So this is Fred. I'll see you in the next video.